in order to start, we we have a fo we we want to focus on few topics, which uh, seems to be important um, for us, but also mostly for you, because we we have done the, we have done a little survey and we had a few answers. Uh, so sport nutrition is very impo important because it's quite transversal to every sport, and it's linked to health. It's linked to yeah. It's you we. we Every everybody in the in the room is probably eating uh, three meals, uh, <coughs> even if it's small or big, but three meals a day. So on the on the year round, it's a lot of things <laughs> that goes through our body. So nutrition is definitely super important for athletes, uh, whatever the sport, whatever the age, whatever the goal. Uh, so we I will um, present more deeply, and you have. Uh, more information over there about the four courses we have uh, planned which the first one is basics of sport nutrition 10 hours the second one is advanced sport nutrition so we go deeper so it's again 10 hours it will be next year and from that we have two other courses which which are applied sport nutrition one and applied sport nutrition two so applied to for example female athletes young athletes elderly athletes, cycling, rugby, soccer, that's the idea. Uh, on this topic of nutrition we will probably uh, have, we will have, um, I think we, we need to discuss that but uh, it, it will happen, we, ha we will have uh, the nutritionist of uh, Liverpool Football Club, uh, a friend of us, Julien Louis, which is also nutritionist for um, AG2 Air cycling team and he's, he's working at Liverpool University so he's a lecturer over there and he, he will be happy to share his knowledge about sport nutrition with you guys. Second topic, sport psychology. It's important uh, next year. Uh, training and recovery methods, two um, modules, um, training, basics of training and uh, advanced training methods. Uh, next year, um, one in November and the other one next year. Coaching methods, because coaching it's a lot about communication, so how you communicate with your athletes um, efficiently, um, probably something like 10 hours. Uh, biomechanics, and uh, we also have one people in France which is uh, um, yes, a professor in biomechanics at the university what, that will help us for this course. And then two other different um, main topics, sport marketing and management, because if you want to grow your club, your association, your business, you need to have information about marketing, management, all these things. And finally, because we've seen that uh, there is probably a need, um, first and second, because it's a growing, growing thing, um, bike mechanics. Uh, I I've started cycling at age um, probably six or five or six, <laughs> so now it's uh, nearly forty five years <laughs> that I'm cycling, uh, and I'm sh I'm definitely convinced that it's uh, uh, probably the future of mobility uh, is uh, linked to bicycle, bicycle use. So bicycle use means bikes, means bike mechanics <laughs> and um, so the next year it will uh, happen so something more applied uh, but uh, <coughs> we have many contacts in the cycling industry from bicycle brands to, um, to wheels builders and so on so yeah it's uh, very interesting.